shocking announcement from the world of golf today, prompting outrage from everyone, from casual fans to families of those killed in the 9-11 terror attacks. Yeah, what gives? Vern Glenn joins us now with a merger that caught a lot of people, including the players off guard. Phil Mickelson's been very vocal about this. Oh, Phil Mickelson overjoyed at what happened today, but I was caught off guard when I woke up and saw the news. Now, because of Saudi's history of atrocities, and then went out and created Live Golf, it caused a rift with the PGA Tour, and many of its players jumped to Live Golf for its $2 billion bankroll and were shamed and banned by the PGA. They were in heated litigation for months, and now an about face. The Saudis now control all of professional golf, period. Paid enough for the PGA to merge with Live Golf. It's hard to believe. I woke up this morning and it was posted all over the internet that this was happening. And it's almost like an April Fool Fool's Day. Everyone in golf had the same reaction as former PGA Tour player Todd Fisher. The two rival sides put an end to their feud on the course and in the courtroom. I don't think the lawsuits were going anywhere and it's just costing more and more money. And it's going to, if at the end of the day, when nothing happens, then something's got to give. I think it's totally benefiting the live golfers, that's for sure. All those players that made the jump for huge paydays were all banned from the PGA Tour. But now, the door is open for a potential return. My son told me today that even the live golfers were kind of taunting the PGA guys because, hey, we left, we got our money, and now we get to kind of come back. It's a tough pill to swallow for players like Rory McIlroy, who defended the PGA Tour and criticized their peers for taking money from Saudi Arabia's public fund to join Live Golf. It's pretty duplicitous on, on their part to say one thing and then do another thing. The loyal guys that stayed with the tour, might, you know, they got the raw end of the deal. All right, so players on both sides were caught off guard. Details still being worked out on when Live Golfers can return to the PGA Tour. Imagine the day when we go down to cover the Pebble Beach Pro-Am with a winner's share about $18 million. These Shut purses shame. are just going to explode. Wow. wow. Yeah, I guess that will erase some maybe awkwardness there when people have to reunite there for the first time since all this went down. Mm -hmm. Story's not over. Burn, thank you so much.